though Sims is critical of the president and the chaos of the White House and team of vipers, he has no such qualms about fully defending the first lady. The White House has not responded to people's request for comment. Upon its publication, President Trump dismissed the claims made in Team of Vipers. A low-level staffer that I hardly knew named Cliff Sims wrote yet another boring book based on made-up stories and fiction, Trump wrote on Tuesday. He pretended to be an insider when in fact he was nothing more than a golfer. He signed a non-disclosure agreement. He is a mess. In his book, Sims confronts the speculation about the Trump's marriage, first by sharing the intimate moment from election night, and later by describing Melania as Donald's fiercest protector. I know there are many outside the White House who have become invested in the mythology, often backed by anonymous sources, that Melania secretly hated her husband, or was planning to divorce him, or had some business arrangements that kept them together, Sims writes. As with every marriage, they had their good days and bad days, often centering around times when accusations of past infidelity were in the news, he continues. But from what I saw she never wavered in her support, and she was serious about her official role as First Fady and her self-appointed role as her husband's fiercest protector. According to Sims, Melania spent hours each day tracking news stories surrounding the White House. He writes that she was upset with comments Mike Dubk, the new communications director, made to Politico about the administration. She was the one who brought the article to the president's attention and Dubk promptly blamed the quotes on leakers, Sims writes. Only a few months into his position, Dubk announced his resignation in May 2017, at the same time rumors were circulating about a Trump staff shakeup, per CNN. When Melania wasn't defending her husband, Sims writes that she obsessed over every detail of White House social events. During the 2017 White House Easter egg roll, he writes that her lips formed into a judgmental frown when she saw a junior staffer dressed as the Easter Bunny. That needs to be taken off, she told the staffer, per the book. He was wearing a light blue vest and for whatever reason the color or the fabric intruded on the first lady's milieu, Sims writes. With seconds to go, staffers jumped into action, scrambling to undress the white bunny in full view of a slightly perplexed president. That's much better, Melania said, according to Sims. The first lady may be eager to participate in White House social events, but they haven't saved her from criticism. She's been often attacked for continuing to remain with the president who champions anti-immigrant policies. Ironically, she hails from Slovenia and rhetoric that is often offensive towards women. Melania came under fire directly after parts of her speech at the Republican National Convention in July 2016 sounded very similar to the words of then-aspiring First Lady Michelle Obama. Even after the controversy died down, she continued to be nervous about making speeches. In Team of Vipers, Sims recalls when the first couple prepared to record the 2017 Christmas video message. Melania was a bit nervous ahead of video recordings and public appearances in which she would speak, he writes. She occasionally expressed concerns that her accent was too strong and made her hard to understand. So she practiced relentlessly for any speaking role she needed to play. According to the book, for the recording session the president was clearly trying to impress Melania. He was focused. He wanted to nail his lines on the first take, Sims writes. When it was her turn to speak and she'd make a mistake, he'd encourage her. You sound like you're from New York, honey, Trump told Melania, per the book. Can't even